Efficient use of tables can significantly impact the performance and memory usage of your Lua scripts. We will explore best practices and optimization techniques for managing tables, focusing on memory management and common pitfalls. Table pooling is a technique used to reuse tables instead of creating new ones frequently. This helps in reducing memory allocation and garbage collection overhead. In that case get table, retrieves a table from the pool if available, or creates a new one if the pool is empty. Next return table clears the table's contents and returns it to the pool for future reuse. Use table pooling in performance critical parts of your code where tables are frequently created and discarded. The memory leaks occur when tables are unintentionally retained, leading to excessive memory usage. If my table is not properly managed, it could lead to memory leaks. Ensure tables are cleared or set to nil when they are no longer needed, and use table pooling where applicable. Certain operations on tables can be inefficient if not properly managed. This function creates a new table temptable for each call, which might be inefficient if used frequently. Minimize table operations within performance critical code and reuse tables where possible.
Proper management of memory can reduce the overhead of garbage collection and improve performance. Set meta table creates a weak value table. This means that the values stored in this table will be garbage collected if no other references to them exist. Use weak tables for caching to ensure that memory is freed when the cache data is no longer needed. This line creates a default table with two key value pairs. Key 1 with the value default 1. And key 2 with the value default 2. When accessed the values stored in the table must use their respective keys. Creating a new table in each iteration of the loop can be inefficient. Reuse tables when possible and avoid creating unnecessary tables inside loops. Understanding the difference between contiguous and sparse tables can help optimize performance. Sparse table contains non-sequential indices, which can be less efficient. Contiguous table contains sequential indices, which are generally more efficient for operations that involve array-like behavior. Use contiguous tables for sequences or array-like operations to ensure better performance. This code initializes an empty dynamic table and then populates it with values from 1 to 100 using a for loop and the table insert function. Setting dynamic table to nil allows the Lua garbage collector to reclaim the memory used by the table, which is important for efficient memory management. This example illustrates how to dynamically create and populate a table, and then properly manage memory by setting the table to nil when it is no longer needed. This helps avoid memory leaks and ensures your Lua programs run efficiently. Understanding and optimizing the use of tables can significantly enhance the performance and memory efficiency of your scripts. By following best practices such as table pooling, using weak tables, and managing memory proactively, you can write more efficient and robust Lua programs. Tables are a powerful feature and mastering their use will greatly expand your programming capabilities.